was two days. Yeah, 12 enemy agents Intel says. Actually, 23 enemy agents. Now we're at Mozambique, the alleyway equipment acquisition. The RLX is an experimental portable rocket launcher and it's been developed in a science base in the desert. Yeah, we already got some. They're called all stones and they are awesome. Now we're going to undo him, sell that, sell that. Uh, this is actually quite an interesting one. Um, no enemy syndicate agents, but the guards are pretty buffed up. So, hmm. I think we're going to try and one man it. With just an energy shield in case things get ugly, and a minigun. Because uh, this game tends to get a little bit easy in the middle if you've really beat the characters up. Excuse me, what the hell? Oh, okay. There is actually a wall there, but you can't do that until you get your. actually try and run in and pick it up and you can see now there's a wall there but you couldn't be wall. Okay. So we can't get the nice minigun. the door, come on. Fast because I'm 
Oi. Actually, hang on, I think we have to go up here and... Oops, we're... Okay, we're not going to be doing that that way, because we are fresh out of... Those guys are, but they pack a punch. So we hit them with a long range. No, we're basically forced in the position where we just have to walk right into the ambush. I can't see where my guy is. I'm just about out of juice too. This is getting awkward. See, the ideal thing would be just to wait until that, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to wait until the shield regenerates, and I'm going to go up and... Oh! He's carrying the weapon. Awesome! Right, looks like we have to do this the hard way. Rocket launcher. All right. Uh, off we run. <coughs> and that's how much a rocket launcher hurts. Single hit takes about half your health. using the miniguns. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, and here is the last country in Africa. Now, it gets a tiny bit harder when we get into America, but this last one here, this country here, this is just an incredibly hard level, but it's about the entry-level difficulty for the American Revolt. Kind of second add-on pack for this. Oh! This is an awesome one to end up on. Every formation of parade. This is one of my favourite missions back when I was playing this. Into the complex, so your squad will be deployed somewhere around the perimeter. You'll have to find your own. Once inside the official. Hang on, is this the one I think it is? I, I need to see the map. I'm not sure if. Actually, I'm not sure if this is the one. Hang on. Yeah. Problem with this information, we have learned that the same official is to attend the inspection of the local barracks. Oh no, this isn't the one I thought it was. One since I... So we've got to go. The target is being greeted by the base commander at the north side of the transport deck. As he's just arrived by car, he may be attempt to leave. Yeah, I know this one. We've got to go raid a military barrack, so we will need the full squad for this, I think. Now, the trick to this is you have to get inside the building. And they will try and stop you from getting inside the building. Yeah, we'll give him a gorse gun too. You have to stop them from doing this. We're getting there first. Run. Just non-stop run. Version 3 leagues are so handy for this one. Keep running, don't stop. Keep running, keep running. Let's have completely... No, there it is. Just keep running, don't stop. You can ignore all the other ones. 
Just then on important. It's this guy you have to worry about because he has a mission. That mission is to put a time bomb in that car and blow it up. When he when that car goes, your only hope of penetrating the military complex basically goes with it. Right, because you can't get through those armoured doors without a vehicle. Fortunately, these armoured personnel carriers can take a bit of a pounding, which is nice. But they won't stand up to being deliberately sabotaged with a bomb. sneak past because these guys in the military huts will shoot at you. And most of them are fairly well armed and If you take the other car you don't get out fast enough and that's a big car full of people coming to kill you basically. So you've got a very short amount of time after you shoot the target to get out of the base and we've done it. No, this isn't the one I saw it was anyway. Um, the one I remember is we have to shoot a guy who's actually going down a parade, but I don't remember which episode that was. So let's see how long this is completed. And that's it. That's Africa done. And we can now take on, if we want to, and if we're dumb enough to, the Atlantic Accelerator. <sighs> Should I show you? This is one incredibly hard mission, right? It's entry level difficulty for the add-on pack, but <laughs> uh, for this game it's very, very hard. In fact, actually what I might do is I might go to the menu and start the game. Do -do -do -do. Uh, end of session 9. Right, that way I I can show you without losing my dudes. So, I'll give you a brief combat sweep. We'll be, this is the last mission we'll be doing, but it is an absolutely awesomely fun mission to do. I'll say, okay. Um, Jet Jeffrey. Yeah, we'll give him a chest version free, not that it will make any difference at all. And I could give him guns, but he's not going to make any difference. Watch this. Oh. Yeah. And that's just the start. <laughs> that is not an easy mission to do. Alright, but it's probably the fun, and we're saving the best for last here, so... Uh, until next time, have fun.